Hey, this is Matt Wimmer from Brady Precision. In this video, we're taking a look at a bulletin that we put out about 10 days ago about a change that Tritium made in the way that um, some of your Niagara supervisor licensing is done because of an underlying change with the JRE, so the Java runtime environment, that is what Niagara leverages to make all of its um, software bits and pieces work. Uh, the Tritium folks are moving away from the Oracle JRE. So as of July 15th, this happened. Um, so they're moving away from the Oracle JRE and now using the Azul JRE, which is an open source um, JRE that makes use of the same test suite that the Oracle JRE does. So from a user perspective, you will have no idea that anything changed. But if you are trying to purchase a new supervisor and use a version of Niagara that is previous to 4.10.8 and 4.13.3, you'll need to purchase a legacy dash JRE part to add to your license that will allow you to run that Oracle JRE still. So new purchases of supervisor licenses after July 15th will only support that 4.10.8 and 413.3 and above um, software. Anything previous, you'll need to purchase that legacy JRE. So let me just uh, pull this bulletin up real fast here. And uh, if you're a Brody Precision customer, uh, you already have a login for BB Tech Center and you've already seen this bulletin that Frank put out uh, right when we got word of this happening and um, to let everyone know about it. So in summary, um, if you are trying to use a supervisor um, where you purchase the license after July 15th and you're trying to use any of these versions of Niagara 4, you'll need to purchase the legacy JRE along with your license. Now obviously, I'll reiterate, this is only if you're purchasing a new license now. If you had a license from before, you don't need to worry about this. But if you're purchasing a new license and you're trying to use an old version, you'll need to purchase that legacy JRE. Legacy JRE is not required if you're purchasing a new license and you're using 413.3 and later or 410.8 and later. Um, this also doesn't affect your demo workbench. It doesn't affect your JS8000. It doesn't affect the JS9000. It only affects the supervisor specifically and uh, not workbench or demos of any kind. So hopefully uh, that's helpful for you. Uh, maybe you haven't run into it yet, but there's a good chance maybe you will in the future if uh, you've got an old site that you're trying to keep at an older version for whatever reason. Um, obviously not the ideal situation, but I know that these kind of things come up. So if you have any questions about this or comments, you can leave them down below. Um, if you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button, please, and uh, hit the like button as well. Uh, we'll have some new videos here coming out shortly. Uh, thank you for watching as always, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.